Exodium is our main extracellular cation, where it works to maintain fluid balance and electrochemical gradients. Potassium is its counterpart inside our cells. It does the same things, but if sodium is mostly outside our cells, potassium is mostly inside. Indeed, 95% of potassium in our body is in the fluid inside our cells. Because of this, sodium and potassium often have opposite effects, for example, on blood pressure. Because potassium pulls water inside the cells, it lowers blood pressure, while sodium raises it because it pushes it out. Potassium lowers blood pressure also by allowing the kidneys to excrete excess sodium with the urine. Since balancing sodium with potassium is vital for our body, our dietary intake should also balance them. At the very least, we want one gram of potassium for every gram of sodium in our diet, but ideally we want three grams of potassium for every gram of sodium. Unfortunately, our average potassium intake is suboptimal and falls way behind the adequate intake, which is of 4.7 daily grams for adult. If excess dietary sodium is not matched by potassium, the body needs to lose potassium in order to get rid of sodium through the kidneys. Low potassium is a risk factor for high blood pressure, heart arrhythmias, muscle paralysis, and increased risk of cardiac arrest. Since magnesium is needed to keep potassium inside the cells, low magnesium can have the same dreadful effect. It is hard to estimate how many deaths for cardiac arrest are due to deficiencies, even temporarily, of potassium or magnesium, rather than the evolution of atherosclerotic processes, but the number may be higher than we think. Adequate potassium also helps maintain blood pH stable without having to steal calcium from our bones. It prevents risk of kidney stones by inducing excretion of citrate, and it improves glucose control. Plant foods are our best sources of potassium, especially fruits and vegetables. Avocados, plums, bananas, potatoes eaten with the skin, green leafy vegetables, and orange juice are some very good sources of potassium. Nuts, legumes, meat, and dairy also significantly contribute to our needs. When food is cooked in water, however, most potassium is lost in the water. Excessively washing our fruits and vegetables can also result in significant losses of potassium.